Jeremy, it is good to see you. Uh, it's your first OTAs because of everything that happened last year. I know you've been easing back into it, but how's it going for you so far? Uh, it's been good just being around the guys, being around my teammates again, getting back in the building, seeing everybody. It's, it's cool, especially this time of the year. I got to ask you about the new teammates. Some guys brought in like JC Horn with the draft, some free agents brought in like Hassan Reddick, Denzel Perryman. Yeah. What's the vibe like? You know, it's exciting working with them every single day coming in. JC, the younger guy, uh, he just has a really good mindset and the older guys, they do it as well. So uh, the energy is definitely good around here. Is it weird to you that you're not the youngest group now? Yeah. Like you and the rest of the defensive rookies? No, nah, it is weird. Um, You've got knowledge to impart. Because I remember at this time last year, you were soaking up knowledge from everyone. You and this guy right here. What's up, DB? <laughs> but seriously, with this group right here, all of the rookies, you know, it was such a special class. And now you're the one that can impart knowledge on, on some of the younger guys. You know, I'm still in a position where I'm, I'm learning. I'll continue to continue to a learn. A lot of people showing you a lot <laughs> yeah. of love. I know. Hey. <laughs> I love you guys too. You don't like him. Okay, now we, he you heard me. it here first. Because he, he, lo he loves me. Jeremy said because you love him. him? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Need to hear more about that. He loves me. Don't be fooled. Oh, I, can but, tell. Uh, I can tell. No, nah, not to be in a position where, you know, I'm not the youngest guy, but, you know, I'm still soaking up knowledge from the older guys and be able to, you know, pass on the knowledge that I learned last year. So it's a cool position to be in. The thing that was emphasized to you, I still remember this, your draft night was versatility. And then you yeah. go and show that last season in a ton of different ways. Yeah. I've seen you spending some time with the safeties out here at OTAs. What's it like, the process of learning a new position or soaking up multiple positions? Yeah, you just got to be a sponge, really. Um, be acceptable to coaching and, you know, asking questions, not being afraid to make mistakes. That's probably the biggest thing. Um, you know, I'll step on the field. Even last year, being in different roles, just making mistakes out here and um, you know making decisions out here that I can learn from so when it comes on to game day I just know not to do that same thing or to play things a little bit differently. Let's talk about this weekend though I saw that you were at a NASCAR race. Yeah. What was that like? It was awesome like it was something I've never. I was, I've never seen so many people be so excited to see him get an interview. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's the group I'm with now every day. Yeah, I, yeah. I can see that. No, but um, no, this weekend was so cool. Uh, just being able to be in the pit, being with Denny Hamlin, like all that was so cool. They definitely showed me a good time. So, could you do it? Could you drive one of the cars? Because no I got way. in, a, I got in a pace car, and I was like, this is way more intense than I thought it was. Yeah. Like, and that's, it was like that's going roller, slow. It was, okay, it wasn't that slow, but it was slower <laughs> than their driving. It's out not, there. it's not 200, but no, I definitely cannot do that. Mm -mm. Last thing I have to ask you before I let you go hang out with all of your teammates. Uh, you were the Panthers substitute tweeter last yeah. Friday, and you gave a very important, what I thought was a very important life update, is that you're still bad at grocery shopping. I'm how, horrible. How are you bad at grocery shopping? Like, I need to know details. I'll go, I'll go with, like, a plan, and I'll have a list. Mm -hmm. I, started, I started making a list. I took some advice from the replies and stuff. So I'll go with a list, but, like, my list is kind of random. So, like, I'll go grab something refrigerated, and then go grab, like, pasta, and, like, oh, So you're not, like, maximizing efficiency. Exactly. Like, I'll go back and forth. And, okay. like, I'll go get 10 things, and it'll take me a whole hour. <laughs> like, <laughs> Do you come home with a bunch of stuff that wasn't on your list? Because that, that's what happens to me. Um, no, I'm actually pretty good at that. Unless, well, I feel if like I, you're a pretty good grocery shopper. If like, I, if you're I, you're making depends. lists. <laughs> it depends if I go hungry. You're getting the stuff hungry, that's yeah. on your list. Yeah. Yeah, don't go hungry. That's amazing. If I go hungry, then it could get ugly. But. All right. Well, next time we talk, I'll find out if you've gotten any better. Okay. okay? Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you.